Hello everybody and welcome to the video. As you can see, I'm in a different place. As I said, I had to move out of my apartment, so now I'm here for the time being. Um, this is kind of not an ideal place to be. There's no AC, there's no internet, <laughs> so uh, I think this is week, I think I've completed week 10 of my weight loss journey, so this would be week 11 coming up. Um, I guess I'll figure it out before I upload it because I'm going to have to go get somewhere with Wi-Fi to upload this video, but uh, yeah, so I usually have my black shorts on and my socks and my Fitbit when I weigh myself for consistency, but this also doesn't have a washer or dryer in it, so I have to do my laundry elsewhere, and I don't have my black shorts, but I have very similar gray shorts, as you can see, so I'll be wearing those instead when I weigh in, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It's Monday, July 20th. Here's my weigh in. 184.6. Awesome. So, yeah, uh, I lost a lot of weight. It's not surprising, though. Um, some people may think, oh, I think it's too aggressive of, of weight loss at this point because it has been 10 weeks. Um, and you know, you may be right, but I know exactly why I lost a lot of weight and it just comes to calories in versus calories out. I've stayed eating 2,050 calories and walk at least five miles a day, but now in this different place, I have a pretty different schedule than I'm used to. Uh, there's a lot of bamboo in the backyard that needs to be taken care of, and every morning before it gets way too hot because I'm in the south, I wake up, I go cut the bamboo, then cut the shoots off the sides, then crush the actual like bamboo piping, whatever you call it, the shaft of the bamboo stick thingy. And I use a 25 pound dumbbell just to crush them because at the end of the day, you gotta burn them to get rid of them. And when you burn the bamboo, if you don't crush it up, there's the little pockets of air inside each segment will expand from the heat and then they just pop really loudly. And obviously I don't wanna be doing that with neighbors. They're probably trying to sleep and stuff. So yeah, I've been doing that for like three hours every morning. My Fitbit registers exercise and I've had at least like 200 minutes of exercise per day. So yeah, no surprise that I've lost a lot of weight. I probably will continue to lose weight pretty quickly within the next two weeks because that's probably how much longer I'm gonna stay here. And yeah, uh, that's about it. I would like to touch on something that's kind of important to me. Um, it's just the idea of having like a positive mindset. Obviously, this isn't the best living condition in the world, but it's not the worst. You know, it could be a lot worse. Yeah, there's no AC. So, oh yeah, sorry. I may be sweating. It may look like I'm sweating, but uh, yeah, I can't really. That, it's just, it is what it is. <laughs> so, uh, it is what it is. Shout out to my little brother if you're watching this. Um, so also, sorry about that. I lost my train of thought and had to go back and watch the video because I honestly couldn't remember what I was talking about. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff happening in the world right now, obviously. And there's a lot of stuff that I myself can't control. I can't control the whole COVID-19 situation. It's a very unfortunate event that's taking place. Uh, you know, individually we can do what we can to help, but it's not like one person's gonna change the whole thing. Um, I can't change the fact that I'm gonna have to quarantine for probably two more weeks before I can go home and see my family and my little brother and hang out with them. And, you know, some people will be like, oh, well that sucks. I'm just gonna whine and complain, but I'd rather not. You know, I, I like finding the good and the bad because there's no reason not to. Uh, I feel like you could be a, a much happier person if you just think more happily. Uh, for instance, you know, like I said, there's no internet or anything and it kind of sucks. But at the same time, I've gotten to read books and I haven't been able to do that in a very long time. I used to love reading when I was a kid I, and I still do love reading. But with school and baseball, I don't really have the time anymore to just sit down and read a book because I just don't have that kind of time. And I've been here a week and I've already read like five books and like they're pretty decent books. 
some are better than others, but I just like reading and it's nice to finally be able to sit down, not worry about anything else for a while and just read a book because they can be pretty captivating. So anyway, <laughs> here's my uh, physique update, I guess. The lighting is different, so this it stinks because I can't really get like a true comparison back to my other videos because the mirror in my bathroom is like yay big, so you'd only be seeing like portions of my body at a time. Here's a quick video of the mirror I'm working with. So as you can see, you can only see part of my body at a time. And you know, it is a little bit bigger probably than what I uh, outlined with my hands, but I'd have to like jump if you wanted to see me. So I'm just not gonna do that. So yeah. So I figured I'd come here and like I said, the lighting's completely different. So I probably look better than I actually do. Which I mean, it's not a bad thing, but it could be a bit deceiving. Um. So yeah, this is me, uh, soft, flexed, uh, <coughs> here's my back, I guess this will be kind of cool because, uh, alright, I was going to speak, but I wasn't sure if I should speak to the camera or like the wall, so anyway, I guess it'll be kind of cool because I'll be able to see my back, I, I don't really see my back that often, it's kind of hard to like see your back in a mirror or with the camera so uh, yeah i'm gonna just twist a little i guess show my back again um oh i also haven't shaved in like a week so i apologize for the scruffiness i like keeping it pretty clean shaven most of the time maybe a little stubble i just don't really like it getting very long kind of like my hair I, I like keeping it short but um Speaking of keeping it short, this video is probably very long already, so hopefully what you got from this video is that there's always something good to look at in things, and although it may not seem it, you might as well look for the good and the bad, because there's no reason not to. Your life can only get better, you can only get happier from it, so yeah, I, I just hope that people can, you know, maybe be a little more positive in times like these, you know. Obviously, these conditions aren't the best. COVID-19 is a terrible thing that's happening to us, but you can always do things about it. The, although there are things that you can't control, you can control your attitude. And I'm a firm believer that if you have a great attitude going into things, great things will happen. So yeah, thanks for the support as always, everybody. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe, and I'll see you in the next video.